we saw all of the of the main mayoral candidates talking about air pollution a lot and that also spilled out into them talking about the environment an awful lot so actually all of the main candidates said they wanted to be green obviously there was a very strong green set of policies from from the from the green party candidate but also from the liberal democrats and we know the two front runners definitely said you know they both wanted to either make the the city the greenest city ever or Sadiq Khan has said that he wanted to be the the greenest mayor ever which suggests to me that really it's been a very significant issue for for the mayoral elections well so looking specifically at our new mayor mm. what did you make of Sadiq Khan's promises his green promises Sadiq Khan's green promises were, were often very strong, so there are a lot of very good things in his manifesto and also things that he talked about in his campaign. Crucially, um, his, many of his policies are much, much stronger than central governments. So central government has mounted quite a significant attack on green policy and Sadiq Khan on many issues, including on fossil fuels and on, on energy efficiency for new homes and many other things has been much, much stronger. Um, but the key area we do really feel like he needs to make much, much more progress on is on air pollution. He has made some good pledges, but really they don't, they don't come up to the mark to deal with the very significant problem that we have in the city. So is that what you would ask to be his first priority then? Yes, yes, I think it is. You know, we really would like Sadiq Khan to really take from some very significant steps on air pollution. We have illegally polluted air in this city um, and, and at the moment on, on the current scheme we're not going to have air that is legally legally clean until 2025. Now you know if a child is born in 2016 that means they have to live for nine years in London with illegally polluted air and that's just unacceptable. So that really needs to be his key priority and you know he has said many important he's said many things about it to suggest that he cares. Londoners want to see him take action very early on in his in his mayoralty to show that he really wants to deal with air pollution very very quickly. We had his predecessor Boris Johnson also saying similar things on this front but he wasn't able to deliver on air quality and also on things like solar mm. um, and even electric infrastructure. How far do you feel Mr Khan will make more headway than him? Because he's, he's in a similar boat, isn't he? Yes, I think that's true. So we felt that, um, that Mr Khan's um, promises on solar were very strong. He said very clearly on wider renewables that he wants to, he wants to aim for London to be running on, on, um, on zero carbon energy by 2050, which is a very strong pledge and it mirrors other pledges in other cities like Vancouver. Um, and on solar particularly, he has promised that he will really have a new solar strategy. We think that's very positive. Um, and there's really a lot of opportunities in London to have much, much more solar. Even for the, you know, for the mayor themselves, um, there's a lot of... Um, there's a lot of buildings in London which the mayor has control of, the TfL estate, the transport to the London estate, and the, um, the Greater London Authority's own estate. There should be solar panels all over those to start with. Um, but there's a lot more. There's a lot more work to be done on, on that as well. And some of these promises and, and and I guess requests that you'd quite like him to take up. Does it boil down to money at the end of the day? Well, yes. I mean, if we, if we think about air from the first point of view, um, absolutely it's cost effective. You know, the NHS spends an awful lot of money dealing with people with asthma and heart attacks and other kinds of things that are made worse than, uh, than they otherwise would be with air quality. But actually, you know, really, um, dirty air kills people. And we shouldn't really be thinking about whether it's cost effective, which it is. Really, it's a moral issue for us. You have to clean up London's air or people will be continuing to die from illegally polluted air for many, many years.